how much you thinking like if i had like a i don't know like a twenty thousand dollar gift card to home depot would that cover most of it i don't know it might i have, I have really <laughs> yeah, yeah for sure i, I hear you Hey, is uh, Lakeisha around? Thank you. Hey, this is Matt. I uh, I work with Christy. I know she had uh, talked to you earlier. We're over here with Handy Home Buyers, and I told her, you know what? Let me go ahead and give Lakeisha a call this afternoon. Did I catch you at a decent time? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Okay, just making sure. Let, I, let me disconnect the last the other line, and then I can really talk to you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. I am good. I hope, I, I, again, I hope I didn't catch you in the middle of something, but I'm glad you uh, no, 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 make I'm some really time. Speaking with a family member, we had dust in the family. So I'm to just <laughs> oh, my things, goodness. It's okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, again, I know uh, Christy had talked to you earlier. I guess it was about your place there off of, um, what was it? It's off Gold. Gold? Yeah. Yeah. And I guess she was telling, she was trying to catch me up to speed. She said, hey, I talked to Lakeisha, and she said that, you know, it's a, it's a mobile home on an acre, and... Uh, you had bought it back in, I think, like 2016 or something, and you're just kind of figuring out what you uh, what you can do with it. Yeah, I bought it in 2016. I bought it out from a married couple that was doing a quit sale. Mm. And uh, you got a good deal. You know, when you don't have when you don't have an inspection, well, for the most part, yeah. But like mm-hmm. I said, I didn't realize there were so many underlying factors because there was no house inspection, mm-hmm. none of this other type stuff. You know, it was just basically. Sight unseen. Well, I can't say sight unseen, but I came through, stayed in it for a little while, and then I was like, okay, I'll just try to buy it. And, mm-hmm. um, so forty thousand and the amount of land and you know the space in the house is, is decent, but when you start looking at repairs, the issue is I have a home equity loan on it, so Got which it. is only thirty thousand, but I bought it for forty thousand. So um, now my current husband's saying that he wanted to see like where we would stand so far if he wanted to sell it and start over or do whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to take place, so I'm really just trying to weigh just my options. And see feeling it out right now? There. Right. I mean, if, if y'all sold and it, y'all have figured out where you want to go to? Nope. Um, I really didn't. <laughs> was, look, when we talked about it before, he was like, never mind, don't do it again. Now he's uh-huh. saying he wants to kind of look into it. So, well, what does he want to do? Does he have some place he wants to go, move closer into Charleston? You want to get out of town? Like, what y'all think? I think he was probably trying to go out of town. I don't know. He might even move back to Florida. I have no clue. Oh, my I'm just gosh. letting him decide because he's older than me in age, so he wants, you know, he might want to go back close to his family. Hey, I, I love no Florida. Clue. I'm just letting this. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it, it's nice if you're visiting, but when you got to stay, the cost of living is different. So. Ah, that is and true. He was born and raised in Florida, so you know, and he was like, everything's high now, and you know, you can't live on Social Security down there, so it's like... <laughs> hey, that's no joke. It's a difference. Everything's exactly. expensive. You get what I'm saying. Damn how, well, it's not even no. just the house. It's just a, it's a damn property insurance on half these things because it's so close hey. to the ocean. That's really expensive for insurance. All right. And then you look at the weather, blackout, all the crazy stuff that goes on, and then hurricane. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. We're by the water, but goddamn it, we ain't in the water. Like, hey, that that <laughs> is know? true. That is true. It's funny because so, uh, a little different standards. Yeah, no, I'm with you. It's funny because I'm at, I'm from South Carolina. I live in Arizona now, so doing this, okay. yeah, we do it all over the country, and it's funny because I was like, wait a second, Goose Creek. All right. I'm uh I'm from yeah, Le- I'm from you know, Lexington, exactly so right yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that was what we call down the street, or up the road. That's right, up the road. <laughs> like an hour and a half away, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's bad. the truth. Okay. That's the truth. But you guys, y'all are just y'all yeah, early in the process, and y'all figuring out like, hey, if we actually going to do this, how much money are we going to walk away with? Because I mean, as of right now, that right. monthly payment's four hundred fifty bucks a month. That ain't bad. Right, and that's what I was like. Well, of course, my credit was top of line then. I only had a 3% interest rate mm-hmm. on 30000 So, I mean, I couldn't complain too much, but it's like now, as the home is older and it's already settled and shifted and stuff, so, you know, mm-hmm. just trying to fill it out. Well, what, what's going on with the house? Um, it just needs some repairs, floors, and, you know, maybe some of the sheetrock and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, really, 
I think the floors and maybe some plumbing and stuff going on. So yeah. Let's try to see what we need to do. And how much you thinking, like, if I had, like, a, I don't know, like a $20,000 gift card to Home Depot, would that cover most of it? I don't know. There's something to ask for it. I just find an IA or somebody. I don't know. It might. I have, I have really yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I hear you. I look that deep into it. So y'all, y'all may be just thinking about like, hey, do we stick here and do the work and stay here longer, or maybe just get some cash and figure out something else? Yeah, it's, it's up in the air, but you know. That makes sense. Well, I mean, for us, like we we'll, we buy all kind of stuff, right? It's, uh, we buy single family, we buy mobile homes, you know, manufactured homes. We do all kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, we try to figure out something that's going to be a win win for everybody, because um, I know mm-hmm. it's important you guys get as much as you possibly can, and at the same time. And I don't think anyone's no stranger to what's happening in the housing market right now. So with our cash numbers are typically a little bit more conservative than what they would have been, gosh, a year ago, right? When everything's flying off the market. So, you know, if if we're going to buy something, I think it just depends on, hey, what dollar amount did you guys have in mind as far as this is how much we realistically, this is what we need to walk away with. And maybe that's a conversation you guys need to have together. And then, you know, we can kind of okay. try to go from there. I don't know. But at the end of the day, if we can figure out something that could work for everybody, it may be cash. It may be something where I give you guys a good down payment and I pay you monthly and I can pay you way more money if I do that. So it just depends on what the best route would be, you know? Okay. So, right. I mean, I don't know. Did you guys have a certain dollar amount that you want to really, if y'all were to sell, say, hey, if we can get at least this much, we would that'd be something we would do. Not concrete, no. Like, okay. You know, basically trying to see where it stands first and then, yeah, yeah. you know, try to work around it because, you know, everything is crazy right now. Exactly. And y'all going to need to have a good down payment on your next place or figure out what that may look like. Um, You know, and who knows? And I'll, I'll just float this out there because I know we're not going to make any decisions today. But, you know, there, there may be a world where, hey, our, our cash price will cash you guys out and y'all be done with the house. Or we could go the route of potentially doing some sort of seller finance to where we can give you a good down payment. And then maybe our monthly payment could help you towards your next mortgage. So, and when we do it that way, we can typically pay way more than what we would with cash, but I guess it just depends on what ideal scenario would be for you guys, you know? So I don't know, maybe it's a a conversation y'all have and we can circle back around to this maybe tomorrow or next week. It's no rush on our end. Just, trying to figure out okay. something that we can work out together, you know? Okay. That'll definitely work. Um, one of the people is calling me back about the house thing. We don't have a concrete number yet. So, but yeah, we can do that. Um, yeah. Just try to figure it out more. Yeah, I mean, again, maybe basic foundation and information. Yeah, because I mean, we can work around your timeline if it's not like, you know, because there's a lot of moving pieces, right? It's like, hey, if we sell this one, we we should really start looking at where we're going to move, you know? So you start looking at home prices and what could we get into if we sold this place with the cash. And, you know, like we can work with you guys through the process. Like we're not a, a listing company or anything like that. We we really just buy the houses, you know? And, and outside of that, like we also help with, if you guys need help with moving or if y'all had need a moving truck or if y'all need to get, you know, place with, you know, one of our area experts in one of the areas you move in, need help finding a house like we do. Well, I guess we kind of do it all. But, you know, the, the normal starting place is like, hey, this is realistically this is what we like to see for the house. And then, again, maybe we can circle back tomorrow. If y'all want to talk about it tonight, I can call you tomorrow. If you like, Matt, we're really busy. Call me okay. next week. It don't matter to me. Yeah, it's not tomorrow than next week. And like I said, I should have more details about it. Cool. That sounds good. Well, this is uh this is my number. So if you wanted to save it, um, my name okay. is Matt. And uh yeah, like I said, you know, whenever that is, I'll, I'll shoot you a text. And if y'all want if you want to hop back on the phone, if you want to text me, I guess I'll kinda I'll wait on your word and just keep me in the loop and see if we can figure something out. Cause I, I definitely know we can buy the house. It's just how we go about buying it will be up to you guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. That sounds like a plan. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you, Cleesha. Thank you for uh, taking my call, and we'll talk soon, okay? All right. Thank you. Yep. All right. Bye. One thing you never want to do 
whenever you're talking, you're trying to negotiate a cash offer. You don't want to throw numbers out. You don't want to start negotiating when someone's not even ready to make a decision. It's almost like you want to disqualify them leading up to the big offer, right? It's, it's called spilling your candy in the lobby. You don't want to throw your offer out there because guess what happens when you throw a number like Lakeisha, for example, I know where I need to be on this house, probably in the neighborhood, of like 75 grand if I'm buy it with cash. But I also like to drop out like, hey, I'd rather buy this on terms. But it, it makes no difference if I would have told her my cash price today because there's only way that number is going and it's going up, right? So next time we talk, say, like, look, 75 is not going to work. I got to do 100. So I don't want to give my offer unless she's like, hey, she's already talked to her other spouse, other decision makers. Everyone's on the same page. We know exactly what they want to do. Cool. They're ready to make a decision. Now we can start talking X's and O's. And we can actually negotiate and start talking numbers. You'll see that I can be, I'll be really vague if I don't feel like they're ready to make a decision. She's not there yet, but definitely worth a follow-up because when the time's right, we want to be there to be able to purchase the house. So that's the name of the game right there.